Okay, I think I got what I need, right? Except I don't have my keys. But why? Why would I need my keys? You guys, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Champagne B. And I'm back with another episode of What the Bleep That I Buy, where I buy things and you guys are like, wow. Wow. If this is your first time watching me, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I like these little short snippets because you get to see the cool things that I buy. And then later on down the road, you can see how I use them in my everyday bartending life. So let's open up this awesome box. See what cool, what's in the box. I think this is like the, the best part of like opening things. It's, you never know what's inside. All right. Ooh, it has a nice container. These are awesome for shipping liquors and liqueurs. Awesome, awesome container. Ooh, Buzzards Roost Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? Buzzardsroostwhiskey.com. So. This is pretty awesome. Barrel strength, straight bourbon whiskey. Ooh. And it's, whoa, 114.4 proof. <laughs> Do you know what the alcohol by volume is, you guys? Take that 114.40 and divide it by two. Buzzard's Roost is located in several states, um, one of which is Ohio, and then I saw New Mexico as well. Created by a guy named Jace who created about 20 years ago, but they've been around for a bit. So this right here is aged four years, and you know, it has to be aged four years because it's called a straight bourbon whiskey. Mmm. Wow. Okay. I'm seeing what notes can I pull. Oak, I, I feel like an oak smell is in it, like an earthy oak. Earth and warmth. Peaked my palate, buzzard's roost. This is so cool. I really appreciate this. Ooh. Oh my, that's got some kick. Oh my gosh. It definitely has some spice to it, not sweet. That's gonna have me feeling some type of way tonight. Let's try this in a cocktail, though. This is for the whiskey lovers. I think this is something adventurous that you would do. I would do it with some cheese. I just some cheese, and that's a little charcuterie tray. Mm -hmm. That creaminess with this. Ah, oh, this creaminess and the spice would just be banana. So I'm going to make an old-fashioned. First, we have our glass. See? Boom, boom, boom. We got our ice cube. I've got the block because that's what I like to use. I'm almost getting it where it's getting clear, you guys. Still working on it. Actually, this is what we're going to do. We've got our mixing glass. So the first things first, we're going to get us an ice, a sugar cube. I haven't been able to use the sugar cube for an old fashioned, so this is going to be pretty awesome. And this is not a typical old fashioned, um, but it's like a riff on an old fashioned. So, all right. So then, get you some. Orange Angle Store bitters. These wrappers never fit on here at all. And you know, put some, put a couple drops on your sugar cube. Let let the let it soak for a little bit. Some people will take the time to muddle an orange or a cherry. We're not going to do that. We're going to kind of stick to the original type of um, recipe with the old fashioned, and then we're just going to put a little spin on it. All right, let's get out two ounces of the Buzzfeed's Roost. Wow. Then we're going to put some ice in it. And then we're going to stir until, I don't know. All right. But we're not done yet. Mm-mm-mm.
さようなら